Hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Uh, been a few days since I have made any videos. I um, somehow caught a bug. I have no idea how all of us, the whole family, got it. I don't know how that can happen working outdoors in fresh air and avoiding people and avoiding uh, contact with others as much as possible, which is um, recommended anyway. I have no idea what happened or how, but um, today is my first day back on my feet again, and I'm still taking it very easy, probably today and yet tomorrow. Um, but that isn't the point of this video. You guys have had periods of video outages anyway, and uh, that's what this video is about. We now have internet. It's full-time, stable, all day, every day. We have internet again. That is very, very good news. That means I will be, once I'm strong again, um, I've coughed so much I've hurt my hernia. It really hurts. Um, I will be, probably starting Monday, making uh, full-time daily videos again. And I won't have any reason not to. Or that I can't because I have internet. It finally works. Um, it's been about four months since I last had stable internet. And uh, it's a long story and a long process. But the technician has been here I think eight, maybe nine times over this period. And crazy thing. the um, We switched from Frontier to Satellite. Because uh, Frontier was overcharging us tremendously. Switched to satellite, and I don't know what was up with that. We got scammed. And um, that, I'll probably do another story on that another day, because they're, pff, that's, that's just an evil mess. So anyway, we went back to Frontier. They have a new deal, um, guaranteed for life. Uh, $29.99 or $95 a month, guaranteed for life. No contracts, cancel any time. Uh, if you read the fine print, plus a $10 a month uh, Wi-Fi fee that is not avoidable. So it's about $40 a month. It is what it is, plus fees and taxes. Still, uh, much cheaper than the 100 to 130 a month I was paying before. So they have a better deal. It is slower, um, if you can get slower. I mean, it's I mean technically slower, but it's not... Really, I'm not seeing any difference, to be honest. The download speed is half. The upload speed is supposed to be better, but it's not. It's about the same as it was, so it is what it is. Um, but it's running. It's working. And it's stable. And that is good news. So, um, technician, uh, they gave me a different modem, gave me different modem wires that he put in a new port, I think is what he called it. He had to order one. First he, he tried put me on different ports and then he had to order one, uh, different ones. And then he had to put the new ones in. He actually ordered no, new ones. If, if, if port is the right word, I can't remember. Something he had to do somewhere else. And um, somewhere in the lines. But went through all that and still my internet never worked. Yeah, I'm hurting bad from coughing. My internet never worked. And, uh, by the way, what we just went through was a normal seasonal thing. I just don't know how do you get that in normal, in the country, for out of thin air. I have no idea. But it was cold, and we were working outdoors, hauling firewood every day. And, uh, maybe it weakened our immune systems, I guess. Who knows? It was just, it was really cold, and we were outdoors all day, every day, working in the cold, and whatever. It happened. So this was a bad week. Everybody was down and out. And we haven't been around much uh, at all, or doing much at all. Just taking it easy and trying to uh, get through it. Anyway, um, yeah, so they, the internet was intermittent. And that's the hardest thing in the world to find, the intermittent. Um, most, out of a 24-hour period, most of the time the internet was not working at all. And occasionally it would work for a few minutes now and then. So you guys probably saw me commenting at very random times, uh, random days or evenings. And um, that is when the internet worked. And I'd get on, I'd open the computer, answer a few, it would be gone. 
and um, I, I would have to, it would take me 24 to 36 hours, 12, 24, 36 hours to upload a video sometimes. So I would just let the computer go and it would do bits and pieces uh, whenever it was possible, whenever there, whenever there was a connection. So that explains why I haven't been able to upload much. But I started videos. I started some really cool stuff that I bought I wanted to review and show you four months ago. And I never got to, to finish it because I never had the internet. And I kept thinking, well, they're going to fix it next week. And then I'll finish this video. And it never happened. So I've got videos I started four months ago that I'm going to have to now get out and, and, and work on and finish. You know, it was, it was a struggle to get you one or two, maybe three a week. With, you know, if it takes 12 to 36 hours to upload one video, and then I have to try to get it live and, and type in the descriptions and stuff. And sometimes I would click send or enter, and then psh, all gone because we lost internet. So it was frustrating. Anyway, finally, the other day, um, a technician was on with me for a very long time troubleshooting the lines. Very kind, very helpful, and very, very educated. In uh, He knew his job well. And he said, you have a bad wire in coming to the house. Not, not, from, um, not from the pole to the house, but you have a bad wire coming up from Frontier to the pole. He said that needs to be, that wire needs to be replaced. Um, I'm, I'm probably misspeaking, but he said that it wasn't our underground wire, because it's underground. But the wire from uh, somewhere around by the pole, or from, from frontier to here, he said the wire had to be replaced. And I didn't know, and that's why I'm sort of, I don't want to reveal what I want to show you, so I'm trying to speak indirectly um, until that point. Because what happened um, is unusual and odd. But So anyway, he got here. Uh, the technician helped out a lot, and he said the wire has to be replaced. It is a wire. It is intermittent. And we had over 1,000 resets, reconnects, and, and, uh, of, the, of the modem, 1,000 resets in the last 30 days. Over 1,000 in the last 30 days. So that means we'd lose connection, no connection for a while. It would make a connection, there was a reset. It would lose for a while... It'd make a connection. There was read over a thousand times in a month, so it was really bad. And then when it did work, it was 0 0.25 meg upload speed, which was horrendous, and uh, we couldn't stream uh, a video. It was just not working. It was absolutely useless. Nothing was was uh, it was non-functional even when it was connected. So it works. But let me show you what happened, and this is um, the uh, the thing that makes you wonder. Well, some of you will probably guess right away. So let's go take a walk over here. I don't know if that shows. It's actually beautiful. That pole is where we're walking to. So what we have here is the main utility line. The um, internet comes through this thick black wire right there right there look I can touch it so the internet runs through there and I learned this all the other day this is our property and this is the dirt road and that's state land right there actually I found out a lot of that is my land I have to do a tax adjustment we need to get a survey done because I found out I may have said that once. This road is supposed to go straight and it dips in deep into our land and comes around. So our property line's over here somewhere. Anyway, that's another story. So the technician came here. He was working out here a long time and driving back and forth down the roads before he really found out what was his problem. I had no idea about this stuff. I didn't know how that worked, but there's the, uh, there's the box that goes down underground into our house. So at one point in time somebody installed that and there was uh, the cable running to our house. But what's important is 
this beautiful brand new black wire looping down and up all the way and then now it loops round and round and round and round and there's a good reason for that because he said um, somebody had ripped the wire out and broken one of the wires causing a intermittent connection so it was I wish I had seen it I wish he had told me before he, he, um, he had uh, removed it somebody had looped it around their hand and he the technician in front here told me this he said it looks like somebody ripped it out looped it around their hand there was a loop of wire here and jerked on it and broke it out of the box up there so he made sure that can't happen again I don't know if yeah yeah he did a good job that's not gonna happen again so easily now so yeah he he was very clear in how he said that and he gave me a very odd suspicious look and I had an immediate ding 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 go off in my head of yeah uh-huh so that's why we haven't had internet in four months and now we do again brand new pretty black wire and I learned a lot I did not know that was the internet and that's how a wire comes down from the box that's your main cable the wire goes into this little breakout box down to this little box here and goes on underground into our house pretty cool so we're back we're back online we're back to making videos every day and uh, probably Monday we'll start rolling them out actually I got some videos to catch up on because we didn't have actually the last four or five days we had no nothing zero connection at all it finally gave up and there was nothing 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 for like four or five days straight there and that's why I wasn't even able to try uploading uh, the videos I was starting to get into a little routine you could see I was starting to upload more but it, we just had nothing at all and I think that was uh, a week ago you know it's been a few days since the internet's worked and I didn't want to rejoice and tell you for sure until I knew um, because after four months uh, I, I just wanted to be sure but yep we're online we're good to go and I'm back the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project is back to daily videos we are back in line and I hope you guys all come back by the way um, I have heard a lot of things from people they don't get notifications you've got to hit that bell icon even if you've done it before when you subscribe you still you don't get notifications you have to hit the bell icon and even that they're gonna delete that on you from time to time I don't know why you gotta keep hitting that bell icon I'm, I'm here I'm back I will be uploading videos all the time if you don't get uh, notifications you gotta click that bell again I don't know why this is happening but it happens so see you guys um, Monday I've got a couple old other videos to upload you'll be seeing that over the weekend and I'll be back to uh, full strength and full blast recording Monday have a good weekend guys stay safe and don't breathe the bugs talk to you later